show me everything. Yes. Great. How long have you lived here? 27 years. Yeah. We raised all time. four of our boys here. And they've all moved out. They're uh, all, <laughs> they've all moved out. We're so, missing a couple of daughter-in-laws in there. Right, though. yeah, yeah. That was an older, an older picture. picture. OK, so where should we start? Should we go this way? Sure. OK. Where, this is, this the living is our room. living room. This feels like a really big room to me. It is. I've always had such a rough time with this room. I've never known whether to separate it into three separate areas, two areas. I'm a little bit attached to this house, and so change is a little bit hard. I like the original things in it, although I know it needs to be updated. Yeah. OK, so yeah. what do you yeah. use this room for? A lot of reading. Reading in here. Fireplace. Oh, uh, my. You kind of noticed. <laughs> What'd you uh, do? Well, you know, originally it had this floating mantle. Through time, the veneer was coming off. And it just looked really dated. So we actually took it off. Yeah. Did you paint and the brick? I did, just to brighten things up in here a little bit. Yeah. When you took the mantle off, did you expect to find electrical? Because that looks real old and real shady. Yeah. This isn't a great way to leave electrical. That's not electrical tape, that's painter's tape. A big struggle has been that wall. We were thinking about putting a built-in bookcase because we do have a lot of books. Yeah. This room is big, and right now it kind of feels like blank walls and a few pieces of furniture. It's a little overwhelming for me. Yeah. yeah. That's where we hang. That's where we do most of our living. Oh, wow. Another big room. Yeah. What happened over here? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> the old it AC was... unit was in there. This is to the outside. You guys. What if it rains? Right. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, yes, there was an air conditioner there, but by taking that out, they've probably made it worse. They've added a danger. Like, all it takes is, you know, one rainstorm, and this is going to be a major problem for them. This door looks original. It is. It is. We need to replace Eventually. it. We yeah. don't even know if it's tempered glass. Right. We don't. Because it's from the 50s. Yeah. Right. The door system is really old, and with grandkids, all it takes is a few little hands hitting on this glass, and it could shatter. Oh, wow. Look at this shower. This shower feels a little enclosed. How do you even uh, see inside you of don't, no, you We don't. just yeah. take a shower in the dark. There's carpet in here as well. I know. This was supposed to be very temporary. We have always wanted to do this bathroom, and we just have it. A bathroom is a moist place, and carpet and moisture don't mix. So right. the carpet looks like it's in great condition, but hopefully, you know, there aren't any surprises when we rip the carpet up. Hopefully there won't be. This has been a long time coming, this renovation. And, you know, I think as empty nesters who are dealing with a new season in their life, this bathroom is a big deal. They have wanted to renovate it since day one, and they've been waiting, and now it's time. OK, so one thing that I want to talk about is just your dream design style. I love neutral colors with warm woods. OK. I love Moroccan, but not too much. OK, that's super helpful. Anything to add? I always like to stay with more of the original aesthetic and not the trend. I mean, you have a mid-century home. It makes sense to keep that mid-century, the warm woods, that's right on brand for mm -hmm. this house. What is your budget for this project? 110 max. Yeah, max or minimum. I am going to take that budget. I'm going to protect it. We have to get all the furniture out, and then I'm going to come in and get started. Awesome. All right. I'm Looking forward to it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. We have six weeks. We have $110,000. I'm excited, right? I mean, this house has been the same for 27 years. But today is the day that Scott and I, we get to get in here and transform what has been a family home into a Corey and Paul home. Hi. Hey. You ready for this? Yeah, I am ready. <laughs> ready as I always am. OK, so in here, this is what I'm thinking. Yeah. When you first walk in, I want to define the entry a little bit. So we'll do a room divider slat wall that kind of comes off from the window and makes this entry feel really special. Then the fireplace, I want to do a white plaster with a wood mantle, and then we'll do a creamy white limestone for the hearth. On this wall, we're going to have built-in bookcases. So we'll build up around the piano, and we'll display pottery and plants and art. And then above that, there'll be books all the way along the ceiling. And below that, there'll be room to store toys for their grandkids. So in the dining room, I want to do a nice big table that seats like eight to 10 people. And then on this wall, I want to paint it a different color from the rest to make it really stand out. And then we need art everywhere, because she's never had anything on the walls. And that's what's going to make the space feel finished. It'll make a house feel like a home. I love it. OK, so this is the living room. Yeah. Let me show you where the TV's going to go. So. 
Okay. It's a big room, right? Yeah. There's a hole here. Oh, wow, yeah. Right? So they had... Oh, the air conditioning was there. Mm -hmm. This hasn't been oh. this way for very long. Oh, okay, good. Because I was like, what if it rains? Like, you can't just have a piece of cardboard between, like, the outside and the inside, especially with, like, beautiful floors like this. Yeah, you do not want to ruin these floors. No. So we just need to patch this up because they have central AC now, so Got they it. don't need this anymore. Awesome. The big thing for this room is replacing this door system. So here's my plan. Okay. The door system that's going in is going to make such a big difference. That'll open up this room to the outside. We'll patch the hole that's in the wall. We'll sand and restain the floors. And over here, we'll do a beautiful piece of furniture that'll kind of be the focal point for where their TV will go. This room is going to be cozy. We're going to make sure that it feels like somewhere you can just veg out. And watch TV. Yes. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> Love it. This bathroom. <laughs> they left the carpet in here, too. They put the carpet in here, and they thought that they were going to redo this bathroom right away. And then 27 years later, here we are. So this bathroom, here's what I'm thinking. So we'll get rid of all of the carpet, obviously. We'll do a beautiful Moroccan tile on the floor. We'll reclaim the space that used to be the main bedroom closet. Okay. And that becomes our vanity alcove. Nice. We'll mirror the arch from the front room, and we'll actually do that here above the vanity. And then we'll do a really beautiful slab that kind of runs up the wall and then wallpaper on that wall as well. The room that we're taking from the hallway will turn into a private toilet room, so a little water closet, and this whole area here will become the shower. I like it. So my thought is we should start ripping out this wall first, All right. right? And just opening this whole thing up. Perfect. All right, let's do this. All right. Most of our construction is going to be in the back half of the house. We have walls to take down, we have closets to reconfigure, we have bathrooms to rip out, we have carpet that's gotta go. There's a lot to be done. Wanna help me get the door opening? Yeah. Woo! This was their son's room. Right. They don't live here anymore, but the goal is to still have this be a bedroom, just a smaller bedroom. Right. And then to have the main bedroom with its ensuite bath and a walk-in closet. Makes sense. Win, win, win. Right about there. Right about six feet, three inches. So that goes like that. And then this piece goes here. Yeah, that'll feel good. And you want to walk in right here at the corner and have yep. it swing into the wall? Yeah, cool. Let's start building it. All right. Corey and Paul's house have a lot of rooms that are only used when the kids and the grandkids come to visit. So taking some space from one of those unused rooms to make a walk-in closet makes perfect sense. Replacing these old sliding doors with tempered folding accordion doors was a must for this family. Not only will they let in more light, but they'll give Corey and Paul peace of mind as their grandkids come over. They don't have to worry about anything being dangerous. Wow, look at these. Is this awesome? What? Oh Huge my gosh, difference. these are gorgeous. What a difference. Ooh, I want to try them. Yeah. I mean, the ones that were here before, you couldn't even see out of couldn't them. Couldn't even see or look even open them, really. Wow. That is nice. Right? I mean, not just the fact that they look way better, but the safety. Yeah, definitely. We've also closed the hole that was left in the room when they removed the AC unit, so now they can patch and paint the walls. The main bathroom of this house is the perfect canvas for me to mix the mid-century vibe of this house and Corey's love for Moroccan style and mimic the arch that's in the original entry so that it feels like it all ties together. I'm so excited about how this is coming together. I feel yeah, that's like... great. We never would come in here when we were kids. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so you're actually related to them, aren't you? Their youngest sons are my best friends. Okay. And then um, their oldest son uh, married my sister. So you've been around this house since you were a little kid. Right. Only been in here maybe the 15 years that we've known each other, like, two times. But when I did come in, it wasn't amazing. So this, I'm really excited for them to have this. The floors in this house are in great shape, but they're reading very orange. So I want to make sure that the stain color that I choose doesn't pull the red out of the red oak so that the reds and the oranges are more subtle and won't clash with the modern design of the room. So you get the whitewash, you have the natural color, and then you have the tint base clear. So as far as these floors go, I think that they've oranged up over the years. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to bring out a ton of orange. 
I believe some of them might bring a little, but I don't think it's gonna be near as bad as that. I mean, it is a red oak, so it does have that hue available right. in it. Right. But I think that we can do things to kind of mitigate that. So I'll start with this one. All right, I'll go with this guy okay. here. All right, wow, that's looking really white, but you must have to, you're gonna wipe yeah, it with the cloth. Yeah, let me wipe that off. It's actually not that red, I like it. I like it too. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a bowling alley, look how shiny that is. It is like a bowling alley. It's exactly, it's oh a bowling gosh. alley. Okay, so I don't think that's our one. It also is turning it pretty orange. Yeah, that one is for sure. Okay. Let's see what we think about the whitewash. Huh. Okay, hold on, let's wipe it off a little. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I love this renovation because I got to know Corey and Paul's family. Paul and Corey are entering into uncharted territory. They've never been empty nesters. They are starting a new chapter of their life. And I think that this renovation is going to be a really nice transition for them and to help them just kind of feel comfortable in this new stage. Hi! Hey! Jasmine! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? We're feeling Good. excited. <laughs> yeah. The outside looks a little bit different. Yeah, it does. <laughs> looks so clean. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at the fireplace. I love Look that. Look at that. It's beautiful wow. and just classic. Is that enough bookcase for you? Wow. <laughs> I always wondered what to do with this wall. <laughs> Talk wow. about updating it. Yeah. And the floors, Paul. How pretty. I would have never imagined. I love it. You guys. What do you think? It's Great beautiful. Great job. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Great job. This, this is amazing. Yeah. I never knew what to do with this space to make it look like an entry. And look at this is so pretty. Adding this screen, it doesn't block any light, it doesn't block any sound, but it does make it feel like you just have a moment here before you're for like sure. full on in your right. really A little transition, right? Yeah. It made a huge difference. <laughs> I can't believe it's the same house. <laughs> this is what so I need. Ideal. I needed some storage. Yeah. And yeah. this is great. That's gonna be really practical. So I know you said this area was more where you like read and mm -hmm. listen to music and hang out, and the other area is where you veg. Yes. So let's go look sure. in this room. Wow. Look at the window. You got your window. <laughs> that looks great. Let me show you how this works. So this goes just like this. There's a magnet that holds it. And then this wow. pops up. And now. Wow. Oh. I look love the this. way that opens like that. I mean, you just doubled your living space. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Look at this. Okay, so the big news in this room, other than the door, was there's a big hole in the wall right here. Yes. It looks so nice and clean. Yes, and yes. Finished. It's all fixed. Oh, Paul. Wow. That is I love the shocking. warm colors. I love the floors, too. Look at the tile. You guys nailed it. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> look at the arched mirrors and the sink. And look at the That the arch, detail yeah, to yeah, the that arch. is really sharp. Wow. <laughs> the shower is much bigger than what was here before. Oh, much oh, bigger, golly. and you can see. That is really something. 